What's up, world? It is I, Mr. Y, the piano guy. I'm here to bring you a little knowledge about playing the piano, whether you are a beginner or an advanced player. Just ask Mr. Y, the piano guy, you can play like me. Well, at least you can try, so practice every day and every night. Ask Mr. Y, the piano guy. Ask Mr. Y, the piano guy. Now, it's very good to understand the notes on the rhythm chart and what the rhythm notes are and how many counts they get, but you also need to know how to apply them. And we're gonna work a little bit on that today. These two numbers that are stacked on top of each other, that looks like a fraction, that's called the time signature. Everybody say, time signature. Time signature. Very good. The, remember that the top note is the most important. It tells you how many beats per bar. Everybody say, uh, beats per bar. Beats per bar. Very good. So that means every time you have a bar, bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four, you're going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in each one of those bars. All right? Now, this thing called time signature, the way you pronounce it, you say the top number and then the bottom number. This time signature will be called four, four. Let me hear you say it. Four, four. What if it was like this? What would it be called? Three, three, four. Very good. Y'all are smart. You know what each note is worth. So, for example, if you look at the chart, what type of note is this? Is it a whole note, a dotted half note? What is this? This is a quarter note. Everybody say quarter. Quarter. How many counts does quarter note get? One. One. What type of note is this? A half. It half. It has a stem on it. Very good. Half note. How many counts does a half note get? Two. Very good. What type of note is this? A dot half. Very good. It looks like a half note, but it has a dot on it. How many counts does it get? Three. So you have three different types of notes in this first little beat up here, all right? Particularly when you are a beginner musician, you want to write the count. Writing the count will help you see what's going on with the rhythm and clapping. In writing the count, understand that each number represents one beat. I don't care if you write one Two, if you write a three, it's only going to get one beat. If you write a four, it's only going to get one beat. Now, you start off with the first note. How many beats did we say a quarter one gets? One. One. So you will write one number. The first number that you will write will be one. What is the next number that comes up? What's after one? Two. So you write two. Now, half note gets how many beats did we say? Two. Two. Now, just a reminder, when I say beats, it means the same thing as saying counts in music. They equal the same thing. You'll hear musicians use the word counts and beats back and forth. Now, we said it gets two. So, what's the next two numbers that come up? Three and four. Very good. Three and four. So, we write both of those under that. So, now, we can see where the rhythm falls into place. So, let's clap this rhythm. I'm going to tap it on the board one time to give you an example. You can tap quietly on your hand. We're just going to do this bar right here. Also, let's see if y'all remember. What's another word for bar? Another word for bar is measure. So you might hear musicians say measure. They mean the same thing as bar. Just like counts mean the same thing as beats. These are some words that are interchangeable. Measure means the same thing as bar. Now, Let's try to clap this. I'm going to tap it on the board. You try to clap it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now stop. Because it's a half note, you're going to hold the two beats. So the way we're going to show that, when we get to three, we're going to clap on three and hold your hands together through four to show that you're holding a note. So example, this will be one, two, three, four, like that. Let's do it again. Ready, go. One. Four. Now stop. One thing also I want you to understand about music, when you're writing the count, think of it like um, a video. Y'all watch YouTube and stuff, right? Yeah. All right, so when you're watching a video, when you're, when you're watching a video, it starts off at zero seconds, right? And then you go for a while, and you get to maybe like one minute. Then you go for a while, you get to two minutes. And you go for a while, and you get to three minutes. That's the same thing with music. It's the same concept. With these counts that you're writing, you're marking places in time. So as time goes by, these numbers are continuing to go. All right? 
So that just like if this was a movie, it would just be if you would count it, you would say, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Places in time. These counts are places in time. So help me write the count on the next measure. What would I write right here? One. One. When you go past the bar line, you start over. All right? So I will write one. This is a half note, so I need how many numbers are there? What you say? Man, y'all smart. Y'all already understand how to write the count. What is this? One. What would I write? No, we still in the same way. What? How many beats per measure? So I need a one, two, three, four in every measure. So I need one, two, three. What am I missing? Four. Very good. Now, we got a dot and half note. What would I write under this? No, nah, not three. Two. I will write three different numbers because it gets three beats. What three numbers do I write? One, two, one, three. three. Y'all so smart. One, two, three. What I write in this quarter note? Four. 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 Only one number because it gets one beat. What would I write under this half note? Two. 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 Nope, you start off. One, two. One, two. Because it gets two beats, you write two numbers. What are the next three? three. Four. three. What would I write in this one? Four. Very good. How many bars does this song have? I wrote four. 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 How many measures does this song have? Four. Four. Very good. That was a trick question. Because measure and bar mean the same thing. Let's try it again. How many bars does this song have? Four. four. How many measures does this song have? Four. four. Very good. Same thing. All right. Now. Now that we've written the count, it'll be easier for us to clap. Let's try to clap it from the beginning. Let's see what we do. Ready? Here we go. We're going to do it slow. Now I need everybody looking at the board. Hands in position. Hands up. Ready to clap. Follow me. Because eventually, I'm going to look at you and see if you can do it by yourself without me helping you. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. I'm going to point to it one more time. Let's try it again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, listen very carefully. Let me show you something. Remember, the longer notes, like the half notes, the ones that aren't filled in, you're going to hold it together. Like right here when it says three, four, you go three, four. Right here where it says one, two, you go one, two, like that. I'm going to put the two even closer so you understand that that's all together. All right? Like one, two, three, the dotted half note right here, how would you clap that? One, two, three. You got to hold your hands together to show the long notes, okay? Let's try it again from the top. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, we're going to do it again. We're going to slow down the tempo, and I'm going to let you do it by yourself. Who knows what tempo means? What? The sound. Mm, kind of. The rhythm. It has to do with kind of the rhythm. Mm, kind of. The speed of music. You are smart. Very good. Very good. Now, check it out. We're going to take a slower tempo. So before, we like one, two, three. Oh, we're gonna slow down in tempo. One, two, three, four. Let's clap. I mean, one. Actually, two, three. Stop. Very good. Now, let's do it without clapping. I just want you to count. Just count. Because sometimes slower tempos are harder to count and to keep steady. One, two, ready, count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hold your hands up. One, two. Get ready to clap. Get ready to clap. One, two, ready. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the tempo changed a little bit. What happened to the tempo? We wasn't this slow down. No, nah, it didn't slow down. It, 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 it sped up. It sped up. Very good. But you were close. You had the right idea. I started at a slow tempo. I was like, one, two, ready. Don't y'all say one, two, three. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got whatever tempo your director says. You must keep a steady tempo. Okay? Yes, sir. One, two, ready, go. Oh, that ain't the tempo I said. I, 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 I did a faster tempo, but y'all went even faster. I said one, two, ready, go. Y'all said one, two, three, go. All right? Keep it cool, my brothers and sisters. All right, let's try it again. 
Silencio. Tense focus. Back up here. Don't speed my tempo up. Do you understand? Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Shh. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, two three, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Very good. Very good.